let us now uh, spend a, a few minutes uh, reviewing uh, ternary triangular diagrams for liquid liquid extraction if we consider a system where we have water acetone and uh, trichloroethane with a ternary liquid liquid equilibrium given in the figure below here what we can notice is that uh, water dissolves acetone uh, completely however it is uh, completely immiscible in trichloroethane and then um, similarly trichloroethane dissolves uh, acetone completely however it is uh, completely immiscible in water uh, we are using trichloroethane to extract acetone from water in this situation because the the way our liquid liquid uh, phase is split is you will have a a phase with water and acetone and then a phase with uh, trichloroethane and acetone as you continue with this lesson you will understand why i am saying that water completely dissolves acetone and uh, trichloroethane completely dissolves acetone however water and trichloroethane are completely immiscible let's just uh, take a few minutes to unpack how the ternary uh, triangular diagram works keeping the terminology if you look at a triangle key in the corner here this uh, the corners will be the vertices and then the sides will be termed the bases if you look at the vertices of our triangular diagram you will notice that the vertices represent pure components here you have a uh, pure acetone pure water and uh, pure trichloroethane the basis or the size of the triangle represents by the binary mixture of the components indicated at the vertices uh, of that particular base what essentially this is saying is uh, this base represents a water acetone binary mixture this base represents acetone trichloroethane uh, mixture as the vertices that are uh, on, on, on that particular base are uh, acetone and trichloroethane and then this base represents water and trichloroethane mixture the bases also represent zero composition lines for the component on the opposite vertex of that base what we are saying here is a um, this vertex which is a sorry this base which is a acetone water binary mixture represents a zero percent composition line for trichloroethane which is on the opposite vertex of the space as you go across with the base parallel going towards the vertex the composition of trichloroethane increases from zero ten percent 50% 80% all the way to 100% at the vertex for on the side of the acetone trichloroethane you have a the 0% water line as water is on the opposite uh, vertex of this base and the composition of water here is zero and it increases along as you move towards the vertex similarly for acetone on this binary water trichloroethane uh, base you have a zero acetone um, composition line and the composition of acetone increases as you move towards uh, the pure component vertex of acetone the compositions of the binary mixtures increases from one pure component to the other as you move along the base uh, of the triangle if you look at the water acetone mixture the composition starts from the pure water vertex and it increases as you, as you move along that base uh, increasing the composition of acetone and reducing the composition of water moving all the way to the pure acetone vertex similarly if you look at the acetone trichloroethane mixture the composition increases from zero trichloroethane and 100 percent acetone it changes from that all the way towards a, a pure trichloroethane composition and similarly for the water trichloroethane uh, mixture you will have a uh, on the trichloroethane uh, vertex you will have 100% trichloroethane and 0% water 
and then the composition of water increases as that of trichloroethane decreases moving from uh, the pure trichloroethane vertex all the way to the um, pure water vertex. The composition on a ternary diagram uh, is read by reading composition of each component uh, using the composition lines, which uh, run parallel to the composition lines as we have indicated earlier on. The composition of water will start being zero here, and then the composition will increase. If you want to read a composition of water at any point, you will uh, use a composition lines that run parallel to the zero uh, composition line of water. Let us uh, exemplify that with a point indicated on the map. The composition of acetone at this point can be read using the zero lines that are parallel to the zero, zero percent composition for acetone, which is the, the line here on the water trichloroethane uh, binary mixture base. So if you look at this, we have zero percent acetone, 10 percent acetone, 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent, and somewhere there you have 46 percent acetone. For water, similarly, you can start this way, 100% water, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, and somewhere there you have 30, and then this uh, represented 32% uh, uh, water line. And similarly for the trichloroethane line. We could have calculated the trichloroethane from just component balance, knowing that in a mixture, the, all the, the, the three components have to add to 100%. Liquid look at uh, ternary triangular diagram. We know that we have two regions where we have a single phase region where all the three components are miscible in one liquid phase. And then we have a, a two phase region where a mixture in that region will split into two uh, separate liquid phases. If you look at this uh, acetone water trichloroethane um, system, the region here represents uh, the single phase region and then in here you have uh, your two liquid phase region where the mixture in that, uh, in that composition space will split into two immiscible liquid phases. For liquid liquid extraction to occur, you need to be operating in the two liquid phase so that uh, the two regions of immiscibility are divided by the miscibility boundary which represents the liquid liquid equilibrium Within the two phase region, you have tie lines which connect the equilibrium points on the miscibility boundary. What this essentially means is that a mixture with composition M in the two liquid phase region will always split into two phases uh, with composition C1 for, for phase 1 and then composition C2 for phase 2. We have a point called the play point on the liquid liquid equilibrium ternary uh, diagram if you look at the the the, the tire lines as they you move from this all the way to the top you get to a point where the tire lines disappear at this point you still have two liquid faces however the two faces that are split they have the similar composition if you could remember isotropes from um, VLE so this is an isotrope for liquid liquid equilibrium. We are going to be looking at an example where we are going to be extracting acetone from water using trichloroethane. Our feed will be termed F with composition XF which is a binary mixture of water and acetone. As you can see it's located here on the binary mixture base of water and acetone and then we will be extracting that with pure solvent S which is uh, located at the trichloroethane vertex here. The points S and F on the triangular ternary diagram define the mixing line. The mixture point M locates the position of the two streams F and S after they've been mixed. The location of point M on the ternary diagram can be located using the inverse lever arm rule. Please note the inverse lever arm rule, how it applies. You have F, which is located here on this side, and then you have SM, line segment SM, which is located on the other side of F, and then you have S, which is a solvent located here, and then you have line segment MF, which is located 
here on the opposite side just indicating that SM is located on the opposite of F and then MF is located on the opposite side of S and then SM and MF are line segments as indicated on the diagram if you look at mass balance M will be equivalent to S plus F and then if you look at the geometry S F the the total length of the line segment is equals to the two shorter line segments combined so line segment SF is equals to line segment SM plus line segment SF if you measure them with a ruler to find the composition of the two faces that will result once the mixture M separates into two faces we follow the tire line towards the miscibility boundary as indicated here the composition of the raffinate and extract can be read from the, the diagram directly the mass flow rate will have to be calculated from the mass balance or with the lever arm rule as follows the mass flow rate of R over the mass flow rate of E is equal to line segment EM which is this line segment over line segment MR which is this line segment and then again where E and R are mass or molar flow rates if you look at mass balance E plus R will be equals to M and then if you look at the geometry the length of line segment MR plus the length of segment EM will be equals to the length of the segment uh, ER water and trichloroethane are completely immiscible a mixture in the binary base of water and trichloroethane will always split into two liquid phases one of each pure component if you look at this is a two-phase region any mixture here will split into pure trichloroethane and pure water let's look at an example that is different from what you have looked at in this example farfarol and water do seem to show miscibility towards a uh, pure component water or pure component farfarol if you look at the the binary mixture of farfarol and water it will always split into two phases that com that contains 95% farfarol 5% water and then the other that that contains 92% water and 8% farfarol let's conclude this lesson by looking at an example where we will do some calculations um consider a mixture f of 100 kg of water and uh, ethylene glycol where you have 55% uh, water and 45% ethylene glycol the aim is to use a uh, 200 kg of pure solvent S which is furfural to extract ethylene glycol from water the mixture F is on the water ethylene glycol binary base as we have located it uh, over here mixture F is on the water ethylene glycol binary base located here and if you look at it we have a uh, if you look at the the the, the, the water we have a uh, 55 percent on this parallel line and then if you look at ethylene glycol we are on 45 uh, on the line that will be running parallel here solvent is pure is situated at the peripheral vertex the resulting mixture m will lie anywhere on the line joining f and s the position can be located using mass balance to calculate the uh, the composition of m because you know the specifications the full specifications of f and s and then as we have indicated here we have calculated the composition and uh, place the location of m alternatively we could use the inverse lever arm rule to locate uh, m the first thing that we will do is we will know that um the, to the the total mass of m will be that of f plus s which is uh, 300 kilogram and then as we have uh, indicated in the previous uh, slides where we were uh, reviewing the inverse lever arm rule we know that sf which is the total solution will be the combination of sm and mf and then if we measure the, the length of this line segment we find it to be 8.75 units and this line is equivalent to 300 kilogram we can look at uh, using the, the the lever arm rule where we know that 
F will be denoted by line segment SM and then M will be denoted by line segment SF which is uh, the, co the combined mixture and then we have m measured um, M to be 8.75 and then we can look for how long line segment SM will have to be so that we can place it and calculating that we find it to be 2.917 and if we look on our ruler here it is indeed around there just confirming that the liver arm rule in some way does agree with uh, the calculations as you can see that 2.917 does pass through the point M which we located remember using the composition space here the resulting mixture M will split into two phases E1 and R1 along the tie lines with, with composition um, that can be read off the miscibility boundary uh, which we have uh, read here to be the values indicated here uh, which we, we have read to be the values indicated here the values of E1 and R1 which are now the quantities the kilogram quantities of E1 and R1 of the extract and the raffinate can be calculated using mass balance here we can use component balance by doing component A balance and component C balance. Looking at these two equations, the only two unknowns are that of R1 and E1, which are that of the quantities of the raffinate and the quantity of the extract. Solving these two equations for those two unknowns, we find R1 to be 82 kilogram and then E1 to be 218 kilogram. Alternatively, we could have used um, the liver arm rule to uh, calculate uh, R1 and R, uh, R1 and E1, where we will use um, a ruler to measure the line segments. We we can um, use the ruler to measure the length of uh, line segment E1 R1, which which uh, signifies the quantity of the the e R1 and E1 combined, which is uh, 300 kilo, kilograms. And then we can measure any of the, the two line segments, either M, R1, or E1, M. And here we have measured um, E1, M, which we know the length of this uh, basically is proportional to the quantity of R1. So then we can go back and use the lever arm rule because we know uh, E1, R1, the length of E1, R1, which is the combined mixture of R1 and E1. And we have measured the length of E1M, which is this line segment, which is which represents the quantity of the raffinate R1. Then from there we can solve this equation to find the quantity of the raffinate, which we find to be 82.15, which is very close to the value we have calculated using mass balance. So you have two options here. If you can use the ruler to measure the line segments and then use the line segments and the liver arm rule to calculate your your quantities or you could use the mass balance which may require some uh, linear equation uh, solving here where you have two linear equations and uh, two unknowns that you'll have to solve for